Warning. This podcast is about the horror genre, specifically horror films. As most horror movies are filled with coarse language, violence, and or gore, the topics and language of the cast of the pod will also reflect the genre. If you have any issues with the aforementioned warnings, please press stop. But, if you have no issue with adult language, movie violence, or the accoutrement that accompanies horror films, please feel free to continue. You have been warned. Welcome back to the cast of the pod as the audio overlays and and makes me go death there. Today in studio, as I'm looking at the camera now, um, starting with Deb. Who's actually behind me over there against the green wall? Hello, and, everybody. And via Zoom, who do we have with us? Here we got PGZ and the Megster. PGZ and the Megster. Um, we, we are talking about now. Normally, right now, this time of the month, we would be doing our "Don't Hurt Us, Jamie Lee Curtis" because it, it's October, and, the, and she's our our Scream Queen, Terror Queen tribute. And um, this is a special edition that we're doing. And today we're talking about the movie that just recently came out on the 9th of September. Yeah, it says it right there on the screen. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard. Um, <laughs> Barbarian, starring Georgina Campbell, Bill Skarsgård, and Justin Long. So normally here, I don't, I, I don't know if y'all have ever heard any of our episodes, but we don't have much of a format. <laughs> there, there's, spo- there, there's spoiler alerts. And sometimes we start at the beginning and end at the end. And sometimes we're at the we end at the beginning and we're place. jumping all over the place. <laughs> and sometimes we're not even talking about the movie we're supposed to talk about. <laughs> that sounds good. Fine. We can do that. That's fine. And there always are spoilers. Yes. That, that, that's why it says uh, with the, the nice voiceover actor's voice, you have been warned. Yes. That was the best $5 I ever spent on Fiverr. <laughs> <laughs> Replay it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> so on on IMDb, it's got a short description of a woman staying at an Airbnb discovers that the house she has rented is not what it seems. Now, now, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but um, I'm glad I didn't know much about this movie when I went into it. We had seen a trailer one time and I completely forgot about it. And when me and Deb go to the movies during the trailers, we don't say nothing. We don't talk or anything. But after a trailer ends, we kind of look at each other and we either thumbs up or thumbs down if we're going to see it or not. And this one was a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys give the thumbs up? Oh, yeah. Yes. But yes. I, I forgot about what it, you know, what it was. It was just like, it's just one of those, eh, we'll see it later. We'll see it later. Yeah. I could say. I think the same for us. Uh, we had more friends uh, starting to talk about it and just using the words creepy and weird. And uh, when he told me I had to look it up, I forgot completely what movie it was. Absolutely. But then I was like, oh yeah, okay. Because we were, we were gonna go watch something else. We were gonna go watch Woman King, but it is October. So mm-hmm. we're like, you know what? It was let's, my pick. Let's let's start off October the correct way. With, 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 the, with the horror movie. Oh yeah. yes. And when y'all left the theater, after seeing Barbarian, mm-hmm. Deborah and I, I didn't know if I liked it. I didn't know if I if Same. I hated it. I didn't know if it was great, if it was horrible. And then we try not to talk about the movies that we want to podcast about until we actually podcast them. And, okay. and, and, and we ruined all that because we just... <laughs> On we, the ride least, home. Yes. <laughs> as soon as we left the theater, we started talking about it. It's like, we're not supposed to talk about it. And it's like, ah, we made up the rules. We'll break our own rules. <laughs> and, I was and, like, I can't hold it. I don't know when we're going <laughs> to podcast it. <laughs> I might forget. <laughs> and, and this movie, I mean, I love Marvel movies. I'll say that right now. I love all the comic book movies. And, and a lot of the modern movies now follow a format that's pretty much cookie cutter. And that's why I didn't know if I liked this movie or not because it was so different and it caught me off guard and it wasn't an, it wasn't an easy palette it wasn't palatable you know for me yeah well and it did jump around um I felt like a little towards the end there were some predictable moments uh, Pete and I could think of like one or two 
Uh, otherwise, every time it was leading me one way, ended up being a little different. And so I left and I immediately looked at him, kind of waiting for him to either say like, eh, or something. And uh, he was just like, yeah, it was good. But it was like, kind of like, that's all that was said. I think we were both still like taking it in. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Like it was, it was good. The way they went ahead and wrote it, they didn't give you everything at first about the house. Like as the movie went on, there's bits and pieces, a little, little, little more, a little more, a little more as the movie went on. So that was that was really good. I was reading on IMDb, the IMDb um, and they were talking about how the movie started. It didn't start anywhere in the writing of it. It didn't start anything about how it ended. It didn't have any of the what makes this movie barbarian. It started as a cautionary tale for women yes. to not trust men. Very much so. Yeah. And there was the, the the build on that with I call him Pennywise, but um Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. His name was Keith. <laughs> yes, Keith. But but I mean it it was perfect to cast him because we see him as Pennywise. And that's exactly the mindset. <laughs> the minute I, I knew he was there, I was like, it's him, of course. No. <laughs> oh, like, he's the guy. And then yeah, like he's the bad guy. He's he's it. When when he's I literally when, when, when <laughs> I, I see what you did there. Um, when I first saw the trailer, I thought he was in on it. Yeah. yeah. When I started I seeing the movie, I was I, I kept going back and forth. Is he in, in on it? And then I was like, no. And then no. Then yes. Well, because it was perfect. Because he was creepy. He, he was. was. He was kind of. He was kind of nerdy. Yep. And even the fact when he tells her, "I realize that you didn't see me pour your drink." So I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it was very stiff, like, <laughs> kind of like, no, trust me. No, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know you. You don't know me. Let's drink this wine. Yeah. Yes. It's like, yeah. I'll open it in front of you. But me and Deb. Like that makes it even better. I made you some tea. I noticed you didn't drink it, so I can make more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, would you like me to? <laughs> they, they uh, were, uh, well, go ahead, Deb. I was going to say, all I know is that after leaving the, the theater, watching this movie, I thought of myself as a really bad person because... As soon as she saw the neighborhood that she was in, there was like nobody there. I yeah. would have just got my stuff and then left. There would have been no oh, movie absolutely. for me to. Well, well, you don't. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to feel bad about that because it wasn't a bad neighborhood. It wasn't even a neighborhood. It was like yeah. I I I don't think so. I think a lot of women would have stayed. I I, I wouldn't. And there was a lot of th there was a lot of parts that I would that she had time to like go away. Like to leave, yeah. and she didn't, and I would have been like, everybody's on their own. <laughs> I would have been gone. Well, and the saying? reason why I think a lot of women would have stayed is because of the fact that um, when they were there, sitting there having wine and they were drinking and everything, I says, well, before that, when he was sitting there and they were talking, and she's like, yeah, I'm into this thing and this movie, and he knew the movie. She was like, bro, you know this movie? He was like, yeah, sure, this yeah. is it, and he started like spitting off facts. And she was like, oh, he's and the she one. She was like, yeah, I'm one of like the founding guys. And she's like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then like that bra opened up doors and everything. And you I saw the little hearts floating up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> well, not in the party. like at the end, like, like she wanted a little kiss. You know, he didn't go in for it, but that's that. the reason why she came back. The anime rosy cheeks. Yeah, like, <laughs> and I think that would have captured a lot of women's hearts and everything as such well but dang i guess i'm the skeptical it. chick i was like this dude looked her up he knows her story he already know like what line to lay down like that's what, <laughs> what, what, I, what I, I was thinking the same thing <laughs> uh, no what I, what I was thinking first of all when not even taking she couldn't see what was going on in the neighborhood and she wasn't from the area she didn't know it was a completely uninhabited neighborhood or anything like that so you know it's raining you know she's thinking that she needs a park she doesn't know how to drive around here and then it's raining and then it's dark she doesn't know you know doesn't know anybody there and she planned ahead of time she scheduled she got the airbnb which i, I don't trust those things at all <laughs> oh <laughs> we were at the hotel the other day and i was like looking all over the place <laughs> and, that, and, and, and that was and we were at a good place too <laughs> I was all well, looking around. We went around the hotel, the, everywhere outside. 
Yeah, and they did a good job. It started, it was like smack in the middle, she's driving, and it honestly just looked like a creepy hood. Like, it's like, oh, it's raining, these yeah. rundown houses. It wasn't until the day where you're like, yeah. like you said, like, oh, shit, like, these are, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oops, I couldn't remember. Did we say we could cross? Yeah, um, good. You, you can yeah. if you want. And it was like run down, like graffiti, broken windows, like overgrown yards. I was like, oh, nobody's even there. And even the lady that she was talking to, and she was trying to get the job, she was like, um, yeah, are, like why are you there? You, you no. need to get some other place. And she was like, and all no, of a sudden, I'm good. She's like, well, no, no, it's good. As she zooms into his ID, like, oh. <laughs> well, well, no, with, 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 it, with this, the, the, the part that I was thinking of, I mean, as soon as she gets there and there's no key, and she calls the place and nobody answers. She should have been like, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Why, why are you going to sit there in the only light, even if it was inhabited? Mm-hmm. But that's the only light there is raining. You don't know anybody. You're not going to get into the house. Yep. And she, she should have took off then. Yep. But, but, but I was thinking that when she gets in there and she sees him, I was thinking, oh man, he's part like, like renting out the Airbnb is part of the scam. Like he knows about her because he's part of the scam, and, and he and, and he read her her he traced her down by her email and her credit card or something like that. Uh, yeah. And and then he even brought up the oh you can't get a hotel right now. There's a convention going on. Just just out of nowhere. His timing was conveniently creepy. <laughs> when she met that lady that she had the interview with, and she mentioned that like a convention. I actually thought the lady was going to be like, "What? What convention?" Well, yeah, me talking? too. <laughs> it's been yeah. years, like <laughs> no, or something like that. Like this Detroit. What are you talking? Um, that, that's something but, else I thought. I mean, it's Detroit. There's tons of places. I don't care if there's everywhere. Yeah, there, there's yeah. one convention in town. You can't you can't find any place to stay. And then she called one hotel and they didn't have any room. So that's it. That's, I'm done. Yeah, she's not, not gonna try again. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have to say I was completely distracted at first because we talked about right. He's Pennywise, uh, all of this, and so uh, I think like. <laughs> interviews i've seen with him i was looking at the screen when he was smiling like do the pennywise smile like because that was like a whole like trademark family smile that he was family and i was just like oh yeah i'm watching a movie hold on i need to focus but i was like looking at him like <laughs> even curling up can i see it <laughs> for, for, for me since i have a crossed eye i don't know if you can still say crossed eye but i have one so it's okay but um i was waiting for his eye to to, to bend down <laughs> just at yeah. some point because it is naturally you know it is but anyways, when <laughs> it, so she got away and, and like we we're talking about, she went to the she got the job yep. and she tells the lady, yeah, I'm staying over at whatever. Did y'all catch? And, and I hate that it's on IMDb because I felt all special and happy about it, that where the street is, what street they were on. No, the name of the street. Yeah, no, they're on Barberry. Oh yeah, okay. that's right. That's right. So, I did think I actually forgot. I was like right now on the spot. The, the, there are so many levels to this movie that you know not only what happens in the end of the movie, and we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit, but the yeah. fact that they were on Barbary is another reason to name it Barbarian. Barbarian. And it, it just it because when this movie takes the twist, I had no idea. It, 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 I didn't know it was going there. I was already at the point of like, like, man, we're already into this movie. You know, how much are we going to see a, a 40 minute movie? Yeah. yeah. You know, they can't yeah. go much more with this story. And then boom, just completely changes. And I mean, she goes downstairs, follows the horror movie tropes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and then when she finds a secret room, and then she looks down at it. I'm like, no, don't do it. And then and she goes, nope. I was like, yes. <laughs> she does. I yes. think we did clap, right? I was happy about that. Nope. And then she still went in there, even though I was like, oh, my gosh. Well, I think she went in there because that's when she heard him yell, right? Call the yeah, police. Yeah, she heard him yell, Call which I thought, like, even more, like, he's in on it. Yeah. Because yeah. like, he just stopped like, responding. He's trying to lure her in, and this he's is all, it. all, help me. That, that's the part where I was like, nope, nope. I would have been gone. <laughs> she well, and she tells him the setting, and he's like, a bed and a camera, and down in a wood. So what? Like, I don't yeah, know, like, like it's do you often have that? Like, like everyone has one. I was telling, <laughs> I'm like, getting mad at her, and I'm like, 
tell him about the freaking handprint on the the wall, like a bloody. Blood, and she just and leaves it out, and she just acts like it's like a well-made bed. But <laughs> Don't I get to see it for myself? <laughs> nope. He's like, it's normal. I have three in my house. And, yeah. <laughs> right. And, and and then when when they're in, f- first she goes, she sees the the torture room, the the assault room. I'm not gonna say yeah. that word because I don't want to get us blocked on on YouTube. <laughs> the assault room. You know, she's she, the, the the camera room. Okay. The camera you know? room. And then she sees that there's a dark tunnel, more. First, you went downstairs. Then you found a hidden door. Then you find the camera room. That's right. You had to pull it with the string. Yeah. (laughs) And it's like, you don't have a gun. You don't have a flashlight. I know she had her phone. She had the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Reflecting the light. Yeah. And then I'm I'm just hoping that that she just goes and calls the police. This is a stranger. It's not your mom. It's not your kid. It's not whatever. Sorry, guy, but... Yep, that's what I was thinking. I'm gonna thinking. have to call some backup. It's daytime still, and I have a chance. And I know she, <laughs> I know she reached out to the police that one time, and they were like, "Hey, crackhead," and whatever, blah blah blah. blah. But I mean, <laughs> well, actually, she called the police once, and then they saw her mm-hmm. all tore up. So yeah, she tried twice, but still, she should have tried some more times. <laughs> a little bit. Blow them up. Or I, I even thought like, because he even said, "Stay here." What if the door closes on me? And I'm like, I would have been like, the door good. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> gotta <stay home." laughs> I thought all the way into the moment that the creature, or the mother, they call her the mother. The mother. Up until the moment that she smashed Key's head against the rock, I still thought he was in it. In I thought it. he was in on I it I thought too. he was in it until then too. When I thought- she grabbed him and started smashing his head, I was the, like. E- even the first hit, I still thought he was down, but then she just kept on going with it, and I was like, okay, he's not part of it. Well, and he <laughs> had something, too. Like, I was, I'm was, i with you, because he said, like, she was going to turn around, like, let's go, and he's like, no, 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 no. Whatever, you know, something bit me, it's that way, and I'm thinking, no, that's the out. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he was still, and then all of a sudden, yeah. She came from behind. I was surprised. That was, I think, my first jump. And I always jump, and then you're like, whoa, why are you doing that? But yeah, I think that was my first jump because I was just like in shock. Like, what? Like, not even knocked him out. I was like, did we just lose him? Is he no longer a character? He's dead. <laughs> like, does that mean he's not part of it? <laughs> right, I was like, oh. And, and, and then it cuts to my cousin. Yes. Uh, and, and I had no idea where they were going with it. I didn't even know he was in the movie. I, I, yeah, I, <laughs> I was like a surprise. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they have completely caught, caught off guard about him, uh, and and then, you know, he's uh, for people that aren't. We're, we're having a great conversation here. We forget we're talking to people <laughs> over, over a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. So, um, they call him. He's in his convertible. Grab. I don't know if. I don't know if the close-up shots if he was really there if it was green screen or not it looked great it did oh yeah did. justin long and they, they, they in the movie his name is aj and um he's a like a b-level maybe c-level hollywood star yeah and now he's on a tv series and he finds out that they're gonna press charges on him or at least come out and say something negative about him yeah. uh, assaulting a uh, his, his co-star Allegations, yeah, and um, so then he gets fired from the. They had a he had a pilot, he looked like his life was about to change again, or he had some steady money coming in. And then when he when the pilot gets cut, even his lawyers don't, everyone drops him, his accountant, and then the the part where it's funny because I'm all getting heated when me and Deborah are talking about it. I was like, I was like, really? He goes into the house and, you know, it's one of his properties and this and that, you know, not the fact that there's this prehistoric, you know, inbred genetic mutant lady, you know, that wasn't the hard part to believe. The hard part to believe was like, he just happened to own the Airbnb that everybody was in. And then I did love the scene though, when he finds the camera room. And they show him, and he's kind of like putting two and two together, and he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Yeah. And then the camera cuts and it's like, can you charge more for square footage? <laughs> for <laughs> and he starts <laughs> measuring I so everything. Mad. I was so mad at that moment. I told Peter, <laughs> like, look at this guy it's measuring, good. like, oh, look, crimes might have been committed, but can I write it up? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> And then he kept going and going with the, yeah, all the way downstairs. And, <laughs> and he was just like all happy. He was like, oh, where yeah. Get, where the heck did we get this tape measure that was like never ending? Just like, <laughs> oh, one more time. And it still latched on to the, to the stone. Like, he had so, a magic one. <laughs> so this is this is where and, 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 and Jeezy and I had, had talked a little bit. And and you were basically like, yeah, screw Justin Long's character. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th- th- this is one of the layers of the movie where it brings in the barbarian mentality or, or the the label of barbarian. Mm-hmm. And I had some hope for him. I I truly mm-hmm. had some hope for him when he was describing that that he was with her and they were together. Oh, and he's not- Friend. Yeah, he's talking to his friend on the yeah. phone, and and it it seemed like he he talked her into it. He didn't beat her. He didn't whatever. Blah blah blah. It was consensual. And and, <laughs> and that's how it seemed. And then later and I on, I felt the, for him. Yeah, I felt bad for him. I, I was hoping it was just a perspective yes, type situation. And then Pete starts get, uh, getting mad at him because then he takes out his phone like, hold on, I'm when he's drunk. drunk. He's like, no, bro. Oh, freaking drunk <laughs> dials and starts talking to him. Those are never like, good. That's the worst thing you could do. Your lawyer told you that was the worst thing you could do. <laughs> and then when he's talking to his friend, his old friend that he hasn't seen in years and all that. And he yeah, was, at the bar. Yeah, and he was like, oh, well, yeah, she was like, no, but, you know, I had to go towards her. And, 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 and he's like, I, I forgot convinced how it, her. She said yes. She took a lot of convincing. And yeah. I, I like, basically oh. like, and then she was all for it. Like, yeah. like oh, that doesn't help you. So I told Pete, I was anticipating, because then it shows him like waking up, and I was like, oh, this dude's going to wake up the tabloids, like tell all, like admitted to yes, prison. I did too. <laughs> he coerced her. But no, it went into something different. But yeah, he, he was uh, definitely one where every time I started liking him, I started hating him. <laughs> Even <laughs> more. Yeah. Boy. Like, what did he, he answered the phone when his friend called and he went from like, oh, I'm so like sad. And then he was just like, whatever he called him, yeah. like, hey, bro. Like, <laughs> yep. It was, it was, yeah. Yeah, he didn't. He, I had a love hate relationship with that character. Yes. So it went from the story of this guy, Keith, and, and um, oh my God, what's her name? Her name was Tess. Tess. From Keith and Tess. And it was a story of trust. And and it looked like Keith was... was actually, you couldn't trust him. And he, he ended up actually being a good guy. Kind of yes. naive, but he was a good guy. And they're trapped under this Airbnb. And then it cuts to Justin Long's story, AJ's story, where he's he happens to own the Airbnb. And what, one of the things that made me mad was... Because we have a friend that that owns one, mm-hmm. and he goes in there and he's like, "Why is all this crap in here?" And she and the the manager, she's like, "Oh well, we don't send people to go clean until somebody rents it again." And he's like, "Well, how do we know that they didn't trash it? We didn't need to fix it or anything like that." And that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh no, yeah, for sure. And then, then we also have a friend that cleans out Airbnbs after the fact, and she finds tons of stuff. Yeah. Out there. But she she goes like right after like as soon as they leave she goes in there and give you know she has time to for the next the next person and they and they 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 note them and they, they email them hey you left this that, that. and ninety percent of the time the people are like now nah, we're not going back don't worry about it don't ship it out to us or whatever yeah so little sidetrack story (laughs) it also she sounds like shocked to hear from him but then the minute he was cussing she was like bye bye now yeah (laughs) she's like okay and we're done (laughs) yeah she didn't have to worry about customer service because you know it had already come out that he was a a diddler yeah you know so but um (laughs) so after he measures down the hallways and, and 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 finds all this stuff, this this basement and sub basement, and uh, and underground paths and all that. Um, 
when he fell, he he fell. It looked painful. He fell into that hole. That yeah. was gonna be the. I he thought he was gonna something. break something yeah. too. Yeah. He was gonna break his arm, or I mean, his leg or ankle, something. Did um, Jeezy? Did you show show Meg um, the article that you, you the article yeah. that you sent me? Yeah, we talked um, about it earlier today, actually. Yeah, like honestly, they could have put that in. You talk about the yum yum yum. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, they could have put that in. Like, what was it? Like, eating a rat or something? But I also see how they're like, oh, no, that's too it, far. It dehumanizes <laughs> her. Yeah. It, yeah. But um, so what happened was he falls into a pit. Tess is in there. And she's telling him, you know, shut up if you want to live and, and be quiet or whatever and everything. And then um, a bottle comes down. Yeah. With or hair all over the oh, head. Oh, that <laughs> hairy bottle. <laughs> just rolling oh, around shit. in lint and she's like she's like just eat from it she's just trying to feed you and he's like no i'm not gonna do it I mean, it was a nasty looking baby bottle oh yeah and then she drinks from it and i'm like oh shit how long has she been down there right because she looked a little emaciated emaciated yeah she did you know and he doesn't want to feed and then the cage opens right. up she grabs him she's got this superhuman strength superhuman <laughs> and and she takes him to this room where there's a whole bunch of like clothes and, and sleeping, sleeping bag. bags and stuff like that. And there's a TV made from the this awesome TV that had a had a VHS tape in it that was like the highest quality VHS tape ever. <laughs> it's no been, track lines, no anything, just like oh. Yeah, and it's been it's been playing constantly on loop since 1980. Yeah. No, yeah, no tracking or anything like that going on. And yeah. it, it's about um, about a, a toddler, a, a, a newborn, feed, breastfeeding a, a newborn or taking care of babies and stuff like that. And um, I can't remember. She knocks him out. No, she no. just like drags him in there. Yeah, and drags tries him to breastfeed. in, and it's like if you're not gonna have my bottle, you're gonna have. <laughs> you have to latch on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then it cuts to another story. Yes, out of nowhere. And it cuts to the 80s. And I didn't notice this part, but um, again on IMDb, it says that the frame ratio changed on the screen from the, the, the smaller, thinner frame ratio we use now to the 80s style. It didn't it didn't go square, but it just kind of... I mean, hmm. I want to watch it again just to see it. Just yeah, see it. The, the little it. subtleties that way. Yeah. And it, it goes to a very creepy looking guy that... Um, he targeted this lady at a grocery store. Yeah. Followed her home, dressed up like he worked for either power or water or yeah. something like that. There's some outages or something. And just all calm and cool. You know, he goes up to the door. Hey, you know, we're checking for leaks and blah, 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 blah. She's like, okay, go ahead. You know, 80s. Yeah. And um, she's just in the kitchen preparing food or something like that. And it, it was so damn creepy. And it's it so was. simple. And so not graphic or anything like that, but they show him reach into the bathroom window and just unlock the window. Unlock it. Just that one little bit of unlocking was yep. almost as creepy as the breastfeeding from the creature, <laughs> from the mother. Well, see, and I didn't feel like he planned. just like gingerly unlocked it. I felt like he did it with gusto. Like he looked like he was just like so prepared and they had already drawn that parallel with like, so we had seen that video with the little breastfeeding and he's going to this store and it is this lady just helping him like outfitting him with all this supplies for like yeah. oh yeah baby. that's part of it. It, that show i don't know i don't remember i was five years old in 1980 but i don't remember a time when somebody's like oh you want rubber sheets it means you have a baby yeah <laughs> that's true and what else do you mean yeah, yeah, rubber sheets are down aisle three, right next to the the baby food and diapers, and a VHS for no reason. Yeah, right here, how to raise your baby. But also, like they also talked about the fact that he he said that he was talking to the lady about baby and everything as such. But he said the fact that baby wasn't here. Yet. Yeah. Right. But he also said the fact that it was just him. He's a planner. So I was like, <laughs> how is it just you? If baby is not here yet, type thing. Yes. So that that kind of weighed me in. It was in the works. 
and, and the the more realistic stuff to me is creepier than the fantasy stuff it's creepier yeah. than the horror stuff you yeah. go back to freddy versus jason and when they show freddy re- before he got burnt and he's yeah. cutting the pictures out of the kids and then he's licking the back of the pictures X. and then putting them in the book that that is like a like uh just like so much creepier than anything in any of the freddy movies ever and and this scene of him just being so calm and, and buying the stuff and just like oh yeah whatever and going into the house and hitting the windows that just that was like like hair on the arms and the back of the neck going up for me this is kind of like the feeling I'm getting with uh, the Dahmer series, where I'm like, guys, this wasn't just a movie me. This is a, a, a retelling. So these are these are facts. Yeah. <laughs> it's very unnerving. Yeah, these are real people. Not that long yeah. ago. I haven't seen it. Deborah's all into it. I don't. I, I, I don't know why it. women nowadays are into these serial killer movies and things. I don't know. Just... Watch the CSI, the crime scene shows, and all that stuff. I just saw it because I saw how everybody else was watching it and talking about it. And I'm like, I want to see what everybody's talking about. All the guys were like, hey, look, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all don't be getting no ideas. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect murder. Yeah, I, I, I've been watching it. Uh, We were, I've been going like... <laughs> to work early and while I'm doing things, I have my Netflix playing. <laughs> so I get all derailed because I start watching. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> He hasn't, he hasn't- uh, I have no desire to watch indulged it. Indulged here. I have no desire to watch it. Me neither, me neither. The little bit I've seen, I'm like, nope, nope, it's okay. But um, on Barbarians, we come to find out <clears throat> after time, it, cu- it cuts back. To, it shows when he kidnaps her. Mm-hmm. Right, and then it cuts back to now, and, and I don't know if it was like a big reveal for y'all, but um, when they show him still alive in the house, yeah. and he's all kind of like Doctor Satan from House of a Thousand Corpses, <laughs> hundred years old, accurate, accurate. <laughs> barely can breathe and everything, <laughs> and can't um, even talk really. Nah. He's like gesturing. Yes, and this is when Justin Long breaks loose from her. Mm-hmm. From, from the mother and um, he's trying to help him and this is another thing uh, of me thinking okay well, maybe, maybe Justin Long isn't you know yeah. that, there's some redeemable qualities to him yep there and, he, is. And, and he sees these tapes and he realizes that this guy is the guy with the tape room with the camera room and the tapes are labeled like redhead crier yeah. and different and, names and different not. names and descriptions and all that he didn't even give them names. They were just descriptions. They weren't even yeah. they weren't even people. Like what they were characterized by. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's when it when for me it was like, oh, this is one of the kids. And oh, we we left out the homeless guy. Ah. Oh, who ran up to the door? Yeah. In yeah. the very first story with Tess, yes. there's this homeless guy running after, talking about, girl, don't go no, in there, don't go in there. Just screaming, yeah. and she ran, and she ran into the house, understandably so, because she just yeah she, she got to get the homeless person, you know. Ugh. But so we cut back to the story of, of um, AJ and Tess, and I don't remember how Tess got loose. She climbed through the yeah the she got when when uh when the uh, mother she got out grabbed of, out of the pit. Yeah, yeah. she mustered like she. She left it open, and so she did like I think like a two or three jumps, and finally like she caught on to, uh, to get because the mother out. the mother was preoccupied with AJ. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And she took off running, and she was trying to open that window where Keith had helped her from, mm-hmm. and then that's when the homeless guy came and helped oh, her, yeah. pulled her out, pulled her out right, right as the that, mother. That part right made me jump. And that's when mother had no shame, showed her face and everything, like yeah. in the light. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. I, I like that they kept her kind of hidden most of the time. Yeah. Because after they show her then, and then later on in the movie, when they're just showing her completely, it just kind of, eh. But going back to the homeless guy, they set it up in a way that P and I actually both leaned into each other. We never once thought that he was going to hurt her. We no. both knew like, oh, he's trying to warn her. Like yeah. we just like, immediately weren't even and like you said we totally get i would have like run no, ran away too well, they're locked the door. but as a viewer 
we're like, no, he knows. He knows. Yeah. <laughs> he, he knows something. So, um, and honestly, he would have been better off without saving her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the homeless guy. But AJ's there with the old guy, and he's like, "Oh, you're you're a prisoner down here too," and mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna call the cops. And there's gonna be tons of cops here, and they're gonna get us out of here. And that's when he notices the tapes. Yes. And the the guy, the 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 old man, reaches over, pulls out a yeah. gun. I thought he was gonna shoot AJ. I did too. I thought, I thought too. so too. Yeah. I thought so too. At first, I thought he was going for whatever string. Remember, we saw like a rope. A bell. A, yeah, a yeah, bell. a bell. Yeah. I thought he was gonna ring it for yeah. bring someone in. Yeah. But, but mother was scared. Mother was scared. Of him. We yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. because when he went into that room, she took off. She was like, yeah. So yeah. She, was she away. was like, I'm not going in there. Like, you're on your own. Late. <laughs> oh, so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> which, which should have been, which, I mean, all of us in the, the movie, in the theater, as, as watching it, we realize, you know, if it's scaring her, he shouldn't go in there. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the heck is behind this door? Like, who's worse than her? Yeah. yeah. But it's him. <laughs> he he ends up shooting himself because he knows the police are coming in, and then um, that's when Tess breaks out, and then she goes back and gets AJ right. Yeah, she's like, "There's there's someone in there. We gotta save them and whatnot." And homeless dude is like, "We're we'll do it in the morning or something like." That. Yeah, because because the freaks come out at night. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you got it. <laughs> but this is also when the cops thought she was a crackhead. And didn't want to have yeah. anything to do with her. And I'm, I'm telling Deborah after I'm not during the movie, but after the movie, I'm like, all they had to do was run her plates. All she had to do is like, that's my car right there. Well, she <laughs> even said like they asked her for ID. She didn't have ID. She, yeah. he, they went back to the house. They could have got her ID. I mean, they well, like how you said they could have run her plates, and that would have been that would have been her. Well, well they're getting ID. calls in, shots fired, all of this stuff. It's like, lady crazy lady cracked out lady yeah. <laughs> we gotta go yeah <laughs> so she she gets back out there gets aj out um mother st starts chasing them oh and, yeah and then the, the tower or well yeah that's when they get to the the homeless guy and she's like I, I know where to go you know he told me about it earlier and they go to his safe spot mm -hmm. right and th this is one of the parts of the movie that i don't like that I was the people don't like it either. And I it was this it. was one of the predictable parts. I freaking called it. They it set was, it up. Yeah, cheesy horror movie bad. And he's like, Oh, I've been here for twenty years and everything's been oh, all right. Yeah. She 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 she's the she, the Hulk came with, smashing through. With the, with, it's not only that he gives all the backstory. He mm -hmm. he becomes like the, the, the reliable like the narrator. Yeah, instead of the unreliable narr narrator that's in movies, he's the reliable hundred percent right narrator. Mm -hmm. And he lets in the part that, oh, well, he used to take women down there and then they'd have kids and then he'd have kids with the kids and yeah. those kids with those kids. And I'm like, is he 130 years old? <laughs> how old is this guy? <laughs> and how, See, how from having a, a child to a child to a child and you get all these superhuman powers? Well, right? no, that, that, was, that was mutation and deformities and, and stuff like that that they tried to, to, to write in there. But she looked like she, she, I mean, she had to be at least 30. Mother? Probably. Mother? He, I think I, uh, I think he gave a number. He said uh, 40 years or something. But, but or for is that, Yeah. Sure. Or maybe like since he had been doing that. So maybe it was 40 years, like the span of it. But yeah, so but, maybe I would say about 30. Yeah, because they, they made, they, like the guy said though, that she was a, a, a product of a product. Yes. So, you know, so, but then he says, he goes, yeah, she don't come up here. I'm safe here. And as soon as he says that, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wall, man. And I knew it was happening. I knew it was going to happen. And I still jumped. <laughs> and then he grabbed him and put that dude's head off. I mean, arm off. <laughs> and beat him with And then beat him with his own arm. <laughs> Not even running after them, just like how dare you! <laughs> you gave all my story away. Right? <laughs> it, it, but it was completely out of character for the movie. Yeah. yeah. Like if Does they would have turned around and she would have been there. That was. Yeah. Like, but like if they would have turned around and she was there, or she would have just walked into the room and started beating him up or whatever, 
and smashed his head on the wall like she did with Keith. Yeah. You know, they're like, okay, whatever. And so now they're, they're running up the the um, water tower. Yep. Oh, you forgot a part. What part? Where what part? AJ shoots her. Shoots oh, dude. Tess. Yeah, oh, a- right. AJ yeah. has the gun. That was the, the first predictable part for me. I didn't Could see that coming. That. Yeah. I, I didn't either. He has the flashlight. And... No, she has the flashlight. Mm-hmm. Yes, he has his phone. Like, well, I, first of all, let's say this dude drops everything. So I was already annoyed this by dude that. Did with drop the, the most fumbly man. like hands I've ever seen. <laughs> drop the knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when she was there, I'm thinking, dude, he's he's gonna shoot her, but it wasn't fatal. That was like the one thing that I didn't expect. I was like, oh she's gone and we're gonna watch this dude that i'm like yeah that's what i thought when she yeah yeah, when she she shot him i'm like man now it's his story yeah you know and he shot her in the abdomen and and yes in the abdomen but he shot her like right in the appendix yeah yeah like like the you know the and and she went from not being able to walk to now she's now she's running and i guess (laughs) i guess it was the adrenaline adrenaline's kicking in of being chased by the forty-year-old She-Hulk, <laughs> but, <laughs> but so so they're going up the water tower, and they go to the water. They're up there on top, and and this seals this seals AJ's fate. It does. He's he says um, because she's calling she's calling Tess baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's trying to see a baby. <laughs> and, and, and she sees that, that her baby is hurt. And she, you know, we'll, we'll get to that part in a second. So, it, but it was a- very much. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. But AJ throws Tess off the side of the water tower, grabs her by the hair, and just throws her, dude. Yeah. So this and, was like the most enraging <laughs> part for me. Why is that? that the, because, so I thought. I misread what he was saying. And so going back in the movie, he had said something like, am I a bad person or am I, am I a good person that did a bad thing? So you were seeing like this, like, ooh, little moral struggle. Yeah. So then I'm thinking, okay, he's up there. And I'm like, is he about to throw himself off? Kind of like- Trying to redeem hey. himself. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And then- Whatever he said, like something along the lines of like, you know, one of us can basically, and then you just see her. And I was like, this, again, I was like, this bitch. <laughs> I was to, so to, mad. <laughs> to, to use a now no longer cool with the kids term, he just yeeted her off the top of the. Yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah. yeet, just yeah. threw her off. Well, and then mother went yeet, yeet. It went yeet. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and that was another that was another thing that pissed me off. That yeah, it she, made me mad. It, it showed how bad her costume was, you know, and as they're showing her jump. And then they cut to when they land on the ground and she caught up to her in the air and yeah. landed underneath. I, I told her. I told Josh it's because she was taller than her, so she got there faster. De- 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 Deborah's and... bringing in weight and physics. <laughs> in, in she she just she went faster and she's been studying aerodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how to streamline her body. <laughs> is she in, in motion she, to where ah? Uh, <laughs> she well, she's a coyote and called Nimbus. That's what happened. Nimbus. <laughs> there you go. She grabbed her before and she like turned her body in. Yeah. So, so, but the thing is, and and, and she, the mother went to save her, and then mm-hmm. and, and and AJ knew that was gonna happen. And how did AJ die? Uh, oh, mother let's talk about that shall we <laughs> so um he goes down there he, again he's like no 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 like, no. you saw that i tried to catch you while you're sliding off the edge right and she's basically like f you it's not even what happened and uh mother's not dead mother gets out and decides to like gouge some some ojos right there <laughs> the juice the eye and juice rips the- his head in half but yeah, he, she didn't even like get his eyes. She got like underneath, like right she here. Got some yellow pus coming out and everything. That was, that was gross. <laughs> so, so he got his, and then she goes back to Tess to make sure Tess is all right. It's yes. her baby, man. Tess has the gun, 
shoots and kills mother. Yeah. Mother just takes it willingly. She just takes the gunshot. Yeah. And and, and the, the part that I, I really wanted to get to, um, out of all the characters and out of all the stories and all that, the bad guy, the creature, mother, was the most human, most innocent thing in this entire movie. Yep. Followed by Tess. Followed by Tess. Yeah. Yep. You know, all she wanted to do, I mean... It, 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 she just wanted to be a mom. It, it was not only that that she was choosing that, but it was human nature. It yes. was in, instinct. And then the video, you know, and and she didn't really have any kind of language or anything like that. She, she was... That's why they... That's what's so important about keeping her humanity because in... Something's happening. I don't know if y'all heard that over there. Yeah. I, I had an alert on this side. No. But um, on the deleted You're scene... That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> on the deleted scene, when he wouldn't eat from the bottle, he wouldn't latch on for the, for the breast milk, she mm-hmm. grabs a, a, a rat, for p- people listening, she grabs a rat, chews it up, and then baby birds it into his mouth. Yes. yes. So that co- he- yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so he eats. Yeah. So he's angry. And according to the article, there was it's a stuntman in the suit, and they had like some prosciutto there or something like that, and he chewed it up and really spit it into Justin Long's mouth. Ew. I'd have been like Ew. that. <laughs> I didn't see that part. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they said it. They got it on. One. They got it on the first take, and it was a beautiful angle, and it was great. But they didn't want to take the humanity away from Mother. We forgot. Yeah, it been too much. We forgot one part about oh. Mother. Oh. When she booped his nose. Yes. <laughs> she did. She did. Please not. Did. When did she? She was like that. She I cannot recall her like that. that. Goes, oh. Just right like when that. she was trying to to feed him, yep. and he was oh. like moving, and they kept showing the video where they were going like this on the nose. Right. And, yep. Right and down. Went, Boop. And, <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> but but, the, I I don't know. For me, there are just so many layers to the movie. The barbarian that is AJ, yeah. Thinking and and like I said, I had hope for him. Like maybe he didn't realize he did something wrong. But then the excuse of not knowing and then showing how it's a habitual pattern with him makes yes. him a barbarian. Yes, you know the he would say or do anything to get out of something. Yes, rat. He's the rat. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And, and, so many then, layers to this movie. Then the father, the, the killer. What yeah. he did to so many people and what creating, you know, mother and all that, he's a barbarian. Mm-hmm. And then and then the term, you know, just because the simple fact that they live on Barbary Lane makes them barbarians. Yeah. And I, I just like, because like, like I said at the beginning, when at, after the movie ended, I was like, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if... If we should have even seen this movie. <laughs> well, and at the end too, when she was, you know, talking to her baby, and uh, I mean, I felt like are we all consistent? Like she let her kill her. Yeah. Do we agree with that? With the gun? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, uh, she knew what the gun was because she was afraid of the the, the old man. Yes. You know, and, yeah. And she was so like worried. I mean, she was so concerned. Like, again, it's her baby. In her eyes, she was so concerned that she had a wound and all of this. And for a split second, because this movie had kind of turned into like something I didn't expect, I almost thought like, are we gonna go into some form of like Stockholm syndrome? And the test is gonna be like, you know what? I will be your baby. <laughs> I was like waiting for like, <laughs> twist, what a twist. <laughs> but it did. I, I, I can see that happening, but it didn't. But, no. but yeah, they, they could have gone that way with it. But I, I would have liked to see what happened afterwards when the police go in there and they find everything. And oh yeah, we'll just see what happened to Pennywise, man. Where did his body go? I kept thinking that too. I'm like, where did this fool go? <laughs> where are you at? So something we do here on Cast of the Pod, we we have a rating system. Zero to ten. Zero being the worst, ten being the best. We'll go mm. individually, mm. And, and since y'all are the guests. Y'all, y'all, y'all can go first. Sure. You want to start us off? Yes. Um, what you got? Liked it. I did. I liked it. Like immediately after I was done and everything, I enjoyed it. Um, out of ten, 
It's hovering between the 7.5 and the 8 range. So, I'll give it a 7.5. 7.5. 7. I'll give it a 7.5. Megster? Um, I'm not too far from that. Uh, initially, when I thought of my number, I thought of like a 6. Uh, there was things, even the music at the end, like little things that it, it wasn't going where I thought, but I do like the a lot of dualities and flip side of things. So I think I could give it a comfortable seven. I'm going to give it a seven. Okay, Deb. Um, I give it a seven also. Um, there was a lot of things I liked. There was a lot of things I didn't like and made me, there's a lot of, the, the cat, I ended up feeling bad for mother and she was supposed to be the one we were afraid of because i was like when we first saw her i was like whoa and i ended up feeling bad for her out of all of all the characters and so yeah i like the movie but i give it a seven for me just like we've all said you know the simple fact that i didn't know where the movie was going and 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 it it wasn't predictable until it was predictable and I mean, it was shot great. All I mean, there wasn't one bad looking scene except when they showed the full body costume of the mother. I agree with that. The cinematography was good. Yeah, and, and the music fit everything. Mm-hmm. And just the pacing of everything. Like I, like I said, that the first story, it was like, all right, they're already getting to the end of the story. You know, this is quick. This is a short movie. And um, we, ha- we have passes, so we didn't have to pay for it. So even, the, I mean, I'm like, this is a short movie, you know, and if we would have paid for it, I would have been pissed off already. <laughs> but um, if it wasn't for the few, like the, the, she, the She-Hulk the scene, and if mm-hmm. it wasn't for the catching up to her in air after she had already got yeeted off like four seconds before, and, and, and stuff that broke the own rules of the universe, I know it's a movie and you have to let stuff go, but they already established their rules and then they broke their own rules. Um i have to give it like a 6.5. And there were there were some things that I would have given it a 10 for. It's just the the since they broke their own rules, you know, I have to go low. Yeah. Right. So that gives it a 28 divided by the four of us, and it became a seven. Okay. <laughs> it sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. It is a movie that I will watch again. Yes. Well, we were going to watch it yesterday, but yeah. something came up because, like I said, we had those passes and something came up. That's the only reason why we didn't go watch yeah. it again. Now I want to watch it again and look for those little things. Like you said, the change in screen uh, when they go, you know. The aspect ratio on it, yeah. 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 All of that and, and other things in the house or something like that. Wait till it comes out like on Redbox or something. And... Y'all's cat just like opened its eyes and like. Oh. Out. He's over yeah, there. just out of nowhere, some <laughs> eyes just went bling. <laughs> I had to look to the side a while ago because he was chewing on some strings. <laughs> what are you nice. doing? But yeah, so, I, I'm glad I saw the movie. Me too. Sure. So y'all want to travel and go stay at some Airbnbs or what? Nope. No. <laughs> nope. It, no. It was funny because um, a couple episodes ago we were talking. Um, Deborah don't Uber. Deborah don't Airbnb. Yeah, we we're talking about Uber and how yeah they can like go the other way. She she had a doctor's appointment. And I'm like, just call it Uber. You know, I'm at work. Never. And, and I'm know. like, nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they know where we live. Anything can happen. You never know. Oh, that's true. And we have friends who are Uber drivers, and I'm still like, nope. And after seeing this, I'm like, you see, we're not gonna say it. I mean, hotels are a different story, you know, but. Airbnb. I don't. I don't understand the whole. There's more horror movies about hotels than there are Airbnbs. I haven't seen them though. <laughs> I've even seen my <laughs> question: what to do with your hotel to make sure it's safe. Uh, well, make, make like, sure there's no hidden cameras. Or... Right. Like said, the... Oh yes, I've been seeing that a lot. <laughs> well, she's all like, "Never mind, hotels are out." <laughs> <laughs> well, like we stayed at the hotel, and I was just like, I don't know, kind of. I had to go to the restroom. I was like, are you sure it's safe? He's like, just go. <laughs> and we were at a nice place. There, there was like seven floors to the building. If you're at a hotel that has seven floors, there's nothing cheap about it or anything like that. It's true. It's true that. Like, you never know. There's that. It just takes that one person. 
And true, that, yeah. That yeah. nobody knows, and he was such a good guy, and all of a sudden. Why is it gonna be a guy? Girls are crazy too. Okay, y'all, y'all just take that like, one person that was a good killer, person. Uh, uh, serial killer movies. <laughs> you just took that one person. Okay. That everybody thought was a great person, and then ended up being a serial killer. Okay. See? I can <laughs> so, do y'all have anything y'all want to throw in there that that we may have forgot, or anything about Barbarian? 2022's Barbarian. I do. I have one last question. I actually almost forgot. So, <clears throat> when she went to sleep, because I wanted a cons- like a consensus on this. When she went to sleep, she opened, uh, this is Tess, and she woke up and her door is open. Are we to think that mother who makes like little nighttime trips, like did she open it or was it one of those it wasn't latched completely? Because like, what are we thinking? I thought he locked it when he left out. When he walked I out, think he, he, left, he walked out. He locked. I think he locked it the second time. Like, didn't she? Because she had. She scared him because he was. Yeah. He was. Yeah. And then yeah. that's when they were drinking. Dream. I was like, is he doing naughty stuff on the couch? I'm like, oh no, he's he's yeah. having a, a night terror. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then when but, she went yeah. back to the bed, yep. it was locked. It and everything was fine. But that was my only question. I was like, dang, that was another thing that still had me thinking he was. He was guilty or in on it. Because it sounded like footsteps were walking around. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the one thing I forgot to bring up. Because I I remember thinking after, like, when he said that she comes out at night. See, now that is something that changes things. If she was conscious enough to sneak around and not mess with them yet or anything like that, shows Mm -hmm. that she's kind of devious. Not not as innocent. So hopefully, Mm -hmm. hopefully... He forgot to lock the door, and it creaked open. Yeah. Or maybe he just thought, uh, maybe something will happen. I'll just happen to leave the door. Not in a bad way like AJ would have done. Yeah. But in a way that, you know, maybe she'll hear the door creak, and she'll come check on me. That's our reference now. We're like, no, 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 don't pull an AJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 level of, the level of creep. Yeah, AJ... <laughs> And then the old guy would have I, I have a question. Uh oh. So since they were renting it out, there were other people, right, that she took? Or I was would, this the the first two? I would think cause I would think so because the homeless guy ran over there like this had happened before. Yeah. Because there weren't like no cars or anything. No. See now, does this fall into you know, somebody from the neighborhood took the cars? Or did this fall into that maybe it hadn't happened before? Maybe she had gotten other homeless people in the area. Well, because she came out at nighttime. And, and yeah. this this was the first time she got a guest. Because uh, they think... never, like, explained that, right? I just thought about that right now. But, just like Jeezy said, though, um, they had sleeping bags and stuff like that. That's yeah. true. So, But then again, that might be homeless people sleeping bags. Not That's true, too. Not people on vacation. Waters. And and, yeah. and they didn't do a except when they showed the old man's collection of stuff. They didn't show like driver's license and purses from other people. Yeah. There, yeah, I, exactly. I, I'm thinking in my imagination this was her first guest that she caught. Mm-hmm. Maybe her, her first baba. <laughs> yeah, she had the baby. That's <laughs> my only one. The dough. So, <laughs> what happened, Deb? Nothing. Oh, I was so oh, okay. So <laughs> for 2022's Barbarian, we rated it a seven. Mm-hmm. Seven. And uh, yeah, we all agree that it's a movie that we'd see again. And that's all I got for this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It was a midsummer, babe. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a movie that we've been we, we've been wanting to pod this yeah. summer. Oh. I would never watch that movie again. And we've been <laughs> have you seen Hereditary? Oh yeah. yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, we saw that first, which was yes. good that we saw Midsummer, but uh this one messed up for life. He won't. Yeah, Midsummer, yeah. I've never watched that again. No yeah. desire. <laughs> so her, like her, you guys watch the sadness again. Would you guys watch the sadness again? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. I would watch it, but there's some 
Because there's some parts that I'm like, yeah. I heard you I guys desire to listen to that podcast. I have no desire to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah, we'll, have that... we'll come back sometime and discuss uh, the beauty that is Midsummer. That'll be another. <laughs> another. <laughs>